All right, so you want to send your model, your Destiny character model to Unity, and, but you want it for Quest instead of PC. Well, to do that, you will have to bake out textures. So, and how to do that is really simple. Let's just set to image editor. Plug this big color in. Now we go up here, switch this to cycles, set this back samples to one in the render. Go down to bake, set this to emit, set this to five, and then shift A or click add texture, image texture, new, bake underscore helm, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to do big helm, 2048, 2048. Okay, make sure it's selected, and then click bake. It's going to take a while. You can see it down here that it is loading. Mm -hmm. Once it's done, it will pop up right here in this area that you that you probably put together. You can create it by just right clicking, clicking uh, vertical split, and then just doing that. Closing it the same way. Join areas. Join areas. There you go. So now you have the helmet image. Save as. Big textures, save this image, and there you have it saved. Now you got now just do it for all the rest of the armor. This is the FX. The FX you will have to do some other stuff with. So it will look like this. It won't. It will not look pretty. That's because it needs all the extra stuff, like the metalness, the roughness, transparency, if it needs it. Most things don't. Typically only the uh, marks need it. Marks or other areas that just have transparency. Uh, sometimes it has emission like this, it has emission. And legs. I personally don't know what the Unity stuff looks like, the uh, Unity whatever thing looks like, so can't really help with that. You can bake out all the rest of these if you want. Just do the same thing, just, just rename, just create a new image, bake, helm, and then just name it something like metal, metal. name something like that. Just plug in metalness, click this, and then bake again. And once it's finished baking, you can just go ahead up here, save as, save as image, and saved. So you can have metal inside uh, whenever you put it inside the um, on the model inside of Unity. For these, yeah, same here. Just, you see how it will shines. You won't have that shine inside of Unity because of how it's all set up. If you have it on the uh, player gear for PC, it'll work fine. Otherwise, it just won't. So, once you're done baking textures, the next thing you need to do is remove the vertex color. So, to do that, you just go into this little green triangle, make sure the mesh is selected. And then click minus. You can check if there's vertex color by clicking here, down arrow, and then attribute. And you see the vertex color. And then you just click on the each of the mod, each of the meshes. Just click minus buttons just to clear it all away. And 
and there we go. No more vertex color. File export as an FBX. That's our quest. Let's select that real quick. Select objects. Export FBX. And there you go. It's done.